What's up you guys and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make something that we have recently discovered and is probably a new favorite in our house and that is taco spaghetti. So get ready. I've talked about this on Instagram before and it was super popular. So I'm really excited to finally have a video and blog post and all the things so you guys can try this one for yourself and let me know what you think. <laughs> So first you're going to want to gather all of your ingredients and so that is going to be either ground beef or ground turkey, a box of spaghetti, Velveeta cheese, cream of chicken soup, and Rotel tomatoes. I use the original kind. You can also get the spicy kind if that's more your thing. Then you're going to want to light your burner. If your burner sucks like mine, you have to light it manually because old house probs. Then fill a pot with water and bring that to a boil. And while you are waiting for that to boil, you can add your meat, whatever, whether it's ground turkey or ground beef, add that to a pan and brown that. Then once your water in your pot is boiling, you are going to take your spaghetti out of the box and add it into the pot. Um, you can really do how much you want. Oh, watch me fail at this really hard. I was making a big mess. Um, but anyway, you could do however much you really want. I just do the whole box because we love this stuff and we'll totally eat it. So I do the entire container of um, meat, which is like a pound, and then this is a pound of spaghetti. So we just do it all because I like leftovers too. So um, I put that all in to the pot. And then while your pasta is cooking, you are going to go back to your meat and add taco seasoning. I'm almost out, so I just used the rest of what I had. Um, but add your taco seasoning to your meat and mix that all together. Once your taco seasoning is all mixed in, then you're going to add one can of original Rotel tomatoes. You could also do the spicier kind, but we just get the original. Um, although I probably could get the spicy kind. We're spicy kind of people. Um, but anyway, you're going to add that can into the mix. And then after you add that in there, kind of mix that all together. And then you're going to add in your can of cream of chicken soup. From there, I just kind of leave the mixture on simmer so it kind of blends together some more. And then I break out my Velveeta cheese. Uh, don't leave yours not fully uh, protected like mine was because some of it will dry out. So we're going to cut off some of those dry parts. That's why it looks weird. Um, but then you're just going to cube up the cheese however much you really want. Measure with your heart. You could do like eight ounces, but I just take like half of the container of Velveeta and put it in there because my husband is a big Velveeta fan. Um, I grew up on Kraft mac and cheese. He swears Velveeta is so much better, which I mean, it probably is, but I just have a soft spot for Kraft. So comment below which one you like better, Kraft mac and cheese or Velveeta. Anyway, so I'm just going to keep on cutting out these nasty parts <laughs> and cubing up this cheese. And then after you get this all cubed up, you're gonna bring it over to your pan and you're going to put it into the chicken meaty mixture, not chicken, it's not chicken, it's beef or turkey, there you go. Um, but you're gonna add it in there and let it melt with everything else and then stirring occasionally until it's all nice and mixed and blended together. So now you are going to want to grab your pasta and bring it to your sink and drain it in a strainer. And then from there, 
you are going to want to just shake all that liquid out, do your little dance. All my pasta noodles always get stuck in the holes of my strainer and it really annoys me, so I have to pick them out. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. Um, and then put it back into your pot and bring it back to your stove. And from this point, you are going to take all that meaty mixture and mix it into the pot of noodles. You can either put the noodles into the meat mixture or the meat mixture into the noodles. I like to do it this way because I feel like it's easier to stir it all together in the pot versus the pan, but to each their own. So once it's all together, you're gonna just mix all of that cheesy goodness together um, very well and then put it to the side and then take a nine by 13 inch pan or 11 by 13, whatever size this is, I don't know, don't care. Spray it with some oil and then pour all that goodness into this pan as such. And then you're just gonna kind of spread it out so it's all nice and even. And then once you get that spread out, then you're gonna take your bag of shredded cheese and just cover the top. You probably could skip this step if you really wanted to. Um, you don't have to put cheese on top of it. I probably should have said this at the beginning, you're supposed to preheat your oven to 350 degrees as well. This step is not necessary. It's just if you want the cheese on top to be melted or if you want cheese on top at all. If you don't want cheese on top, then you're pretty much good to go. Otherwise, stick it in the oven for a little bit until the cheese on top is melted and you're good to go. While the cheese is melting in the oven, I like to take that time to try to clean as I go and clean up all the pots and pans so that there is less mess to deal with after we're done eating. I'm not always the best at this, but hey, there's proof. Here's actual video proof and evidence of me cleaning while I cook. So you can all tell Tyler to stop yelling at me for not cleaning while I cook uh, <laughs> because I tend to make a giant mess and have a lot to clean up at the end. So. And it helps that I have this really pretty view outside of my window while I was cleaning up. So that definitely helps. So please enjoy this few seconds of bliss because I love this view. Once the cheese is all melted, you can go ahead and take the pan out of the oven and that is it. You are all done. This is your taco spaghetti. Ugh, doesn't it just look so good? Ugh, it's just cheesy goodness. So your husband will like it. Your family will like it. I promise it is just so yummy. So hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, let me know if you decide to make it down in the comments what you thought of it and if you're going to try to make it and what other recipes you might want to see in the future. Um, until next time guys, thank you so much for being here. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and we will catch you in the next one.